What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sabby. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Welcome to my channel, guys. Listen up. Today's topic, this is probably one of the most important topics you're ever going to hear on YouTube. This is a very crucial message. Never, ever, never, ever, guys, tell anybody what you are up to, what you have going on, right? Now, this could be maybe a goal, a vision that you may have. Uh, maybe a desire that God placed within your heart, you know, and you have a strong burning desire. Don't share that with people, guys. And I'm going to get into exactly why uh, just a little bit later on. Uh, this could also be, you know, maybe uh, how much money you have, how much money you're earning, how much, you know, savings uh, or how much money you have invested, things of that nature, guys. This is information that you don't want to share with people. You know, uh, another thing I will say is don't share your flaws. Don't share your weaknesses. Don't share, you know, your shortcomings with other people because they can use that information against you, right? They can manipulate you and you have to be aware of, you know, who you're telling all of this stuff to, guys. Uh, this also includes your deepest, darkest secrets. You know, all this stuff can come out later to hurt you, uh, to cause destruction or havoc in your life. So don't share your deepest, darkest secrets. Or, you know, if you're in a relationship, uh, you have a partner, don't share your partner's secrets with people too, or your relationship problems, or your marital problems, you know, a lot of the times, you know, people can use that information to either get you to break up, or uh, maybe, you know, somebody has their eyes on you, and they want you for them, so they can swoop right in, uh, try to cause a breakup, you know, so many things can happen, guys. Also, the scriptures talk about never discussing uh, acts of kindness, or good deeds that you've done for other people, and that's because, you know, a lot of the times people that actually go out there and share this information is because they want to look good to other people. They want to seem righteous and, and religious to other people. But, you know, deep down, they may not feel that way. Deep down, they may just be doing it for a show, right, for public image, for their self-image. It's not genuine, right? So even the scripture says, you know, even the good, good deeds you do for people should be genuine, Right. So the first reason why you should never talk about, you know, a desire that you have, a goal that you have is because it creates uh, the same feeling within you. It creates that same, you know, dopamine flood or that serotonin flood within your nervous system as though you have already achieved, uh, you know, what it is that you're you're setting out to do or what you're talking about, or what you're sharing with somebody else. And so in turn, that lessens your motivation to actually go out there and achieve what it is that you truly, you know, are talking about rather than actually doing the work or walking the talk, you're just talking, right? You're not, you're not able to, to see it through because you basically got the good feeling that you were looking for from, you know, the other person or, or from sharing that news with somebody or your family or your friends. And so therefore now you don't really have that inclination or that desire or that, that motivation to go out there and actually achieve it because, you know, that reward, that, that pleasure center is now fulfilled. It, it's, you know, uh, flooded with all these good feeling chemicals already. So that's why guys, you know, if you have a big goal, if you have something, stay quiet about it and just work in silence, grind in silence, let the work do the talking. A lot of the times, you know, uh, we don't let the work do the talking. You know, we love to share news on social media. We, lo we love to post, you know, what it is that we're about to do or what we're about to start. And it never gets done. How many people do you know or how many times have you told somebody something, um, you know, and then four or five, six months later, it's still not accomplished or it's still not, you know, done. A lot of people say, hey, I want to lose 30, 40 pounds. But then next time you see them, they're still the same weight because they didn't put that work in, right? But they told you about it. They felt good telling you about it, but they never put that work in, guys. So be aware of that as well. Number two, another big reason why you should never tell anybody what you're up to or what you have going on is because a lot of the times people can steal your idea. People can copy, you know, what it is that, you know, you want to do. This could be a business idea. This could be maybe some invention that you have, maybe a creative endeavor like, uh, you know, writing poetry or photography or DJing or making music, whatever it is, guys. A lot of the times people can steal what you have and, and take it and run with it. And so what happens is you go out there, you tell somebody, hey, you know, uh, I want to start braiding hair. I want to start, you know, getting my uh, barber's license. You know, I want to... Um, you know, open up my own nail salon, you tell people all this stuff. And you know, guess what happens four five, six months later, you know, now they're braiding hair. Now, now they have their barber's license, right now, they're a master cosmetologist, or now they're a makeup artist. And that's what you wanted to do. Guys, you have to be aware that 
we don't really know the people that we tell this information to. A lot of the times, people can be low-key haters. People can be copycats, right? Uh, and, and they want to be just like you. They, they literally just want to you know, do everything that you're doing. And they want to be... Uh, they they want to imitate you. There's movies about this. There's books about this. There's so much about this. I, I even have a video on copycat friends, right? On how they love you so much, but they hate you at the same time that they're going to take everything that you have or copy everything that you do because they want to be just like you guys. So, you know, be aware of who you're telling this information to. Uh, and then in the end, you're going to end up feeling resentful. You're going to end up feeling bitter. You're going to end up feeling, you know, hurt, angry, you know, like vindictive. And you're probably going to lose that friendship. Even though I'm not saying that was a great friendship to begin with, if someone stole your idea, guys, but it happens all the time. Sometimes we tell strangers what, what we want to do, you know, and they run off with it because either people have more motivation than you or people have more you know inclination more resources maybe they're more connected than you and for them it's easier to actually do you know what it is that you're you're setting out to do right if god placed you know a strong desire within your heart keep it to yourself you know you don't have to share everything with everybody guys people don't need to know every single detail about your life or you know your next move or your next plan or your, or your next blueprint of whatever guys so be aware of that another huge reason guys that i want to share with you why you should never tell anybody is, you know, people can be jealous of you guys. People can be envious of you and they can literally put their evil eye upon you. Now, the thing is, I don't really believe in the evil eye because I know that at the end of the day, you create your own reality. You are the master of your own consciousness. You know, whatever you hold to be true within your internal world, your inner world, that is what manifests on the screen of reality, right? I believe that. However, a lot of people out here, guys, you know, they are not self-master, right? They, they are not sovereign. They are not autonomous. They actually do care what other people think. They actually do allow the words of other people to affect them. They actually do care, you know, um, how other people view them. And so what happens is they absorb the frequencies of other people. They absorb, you know, words and thoughts and, and, and you know, what other people are saying to them. They, they let that affect their consciousness. And so what can happen in turn is people can plant seeds of doubt people can plant seeds of you know destruction within you and guess what happens right either you don't chase your dreams right maybe you have a big goal maybe you want to start up a business and you know this low-key frenemy or you know this this hater that you have or, or this you know evil spirit around you um can, can tell you hey man you know most big businesses fail bro you're gonna lose a lot of money man you know, um, dude, no one's ever achieved that. You know, you're, you're not going to achieve it, man. Just just go to college, just get a nine to five, man. Just be safe, right? They're actually talking you out of, you know, this desire that you have that God placed within you, right? They're talking you out of your inspiration. They're talking you out of, you know, what it is that you truly want to do in your life because you allowed that evil lie to come into your life, right? Sometimes, you know, uh, maybe you're in a relationship. Maybe you're about to get married. Maybe, you know, there's someone in your life that, you know, you have eyes for and you tell somebody, Right? They can tell you, hey, man, forget that person. You can do so much better, bro. You know, she's not even all that, bro. He's, he, he's not even all that. You know, th they can talk this kind of talk just to get you out of that situation. This has happened to me before. I've told, you know, people in the past, uh, maybe about a crush that I had or, or somebody that I had my eyes on. And this friend of me would actually go and talk to this person. Right? He would tell me, oh, man, you know, bro, you can do better than her, man. Oh, man, she's not for you. Or they would lie to me and be like, oh, man, she's already talking to somebody else. And she wasn't, right? And so that would deter me from actually going out there and, you know, w wanting to talk to this individual, wanting to, you know, maybe ask her out on a date or something. And this person would swoop right in and, you know, want to get with her or would now be talking to her. And that would make me feel some type of way. I would be like, yo, that's so messed up, right? How dare he tell me, you know, false information, yet he does that. It's because, guys, he had that evil eye upon me, right? He was a hater. He didn't want me to succeed. And there's a lot of friends out there in your life right now that don't want you to succeed. They don't want to see you win, guys. They don't want to see you glow. They don't want to see you, you know, um, elevate or, or, or become the best version of yourself. So they're going to talk you out of your blessings. You know, maybe, uh, you know, you want to quit smoking weed or maybe you want to quit drinking alcohol or maybe you want to quit partying. They're going to make fun of you, right? They're going to try to get you back into that lifestyle so you can, you know, be with them in those kind of frequencies and in, 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 in those lower frequencies, guys. So be aware of who you're, you know, sharing your information with or who you're sharing good news with. Let me tell you something that scripture says, right? Uh, you can, don't, don't ever share, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, by the way, don't ever share uh, good news with 
evil spirits guys or bad spirits because they're gonna make sure that you lose your blessing a lot of people out here guys you know they're not really happy for you like you are happy for them a lot of the times people can honestly use information against you to manipulate you and and to make sure that you lose you know what god has blessed you with that's why sometimes you know god he's gonna remove people from your life before he can bless you you know, and the reason he does that is because he kn he knows, God knows that if he were to bless you, you know, and, and these people are still around, they're going to take your blessings, right? They're, they're going to they're gonna talk you out of your blessings. They're going to make sure that you don't actually fully enjoy your blessings, guys. So you have to be aware of the people that you're talking to, the people that you're sharing information with, the people that, you know, that you think are your friends, you know. And I'm not saying that everybody in your life is evil, no. There are really good, genuine people, you know, maybe your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, you know, they're very supportive, um, but sometimes they're not, you know, everybody lives a very different life. So, so this video goes out there for anybody that, you know, needs to hear this message because a lot of the times, you know, we can have a big mouth, we can talk too much and sometimes it's best to just stay shut. The social media generation, you know, has everybody sharing the smallest details of their life, you know, the most intricate details, everything people are sharing now. And honestly, there's no more privacy. There's no more, you know, ability to be low key to actually be private anymore. Right now, everybody knows everybody else's business. And I don't think that's such a good idea because, you know, pe so many people get killed. Think about all these rappers that got killed because they shared their location on social media and then they had a home invasion or a robbery. All these things can happen, guys. So to be safe, to be secure, I would always say, um, you know, just be quiet. Don't tell anybody too much and stay to yourself. Stay in your lane, right? This is my message for today, guys. If this video resonated with you remember to share like and subscribe i'll see you in the next episode take care much love peace